I came out with a box and my husband's like, quail? <laughs> Coffee, dark guys. roast with just caramel Five, swirl. One, two, okay. two strawberry frosty three, sprinkled donuts nine, one and one coffee roll. Oh. All right, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's vlog. We're at Dunkin' Donuts. We gotta run to Tractor Supply. We gotta go to Walmart. We gotta do all that stuff. But first, coffee. You guys. So I had to go to Tractor Supply, right? I'm looking for some hay. I don't, Papa probably has hay. I don't know. Y'all, I need it. I need like a bale. I don't need like a whole bunch. I just want it for the bottom of the chicken coop, right? For the inside. Cause I'm not gonna use um, pine. Cause I just think that'd be too much. Yeah, so and then we wanted hay, you know, to put down when they lay eggs. I know we don't need that right now. We probably don't need it for another, you know, six or so months. But I just wanted to make sure I get it so it's inside of their chicken coop, which is getting close to done. So I had to go to truck supply and get the cat's um, shots because she needs her, she's due for her shots. So we got that. And then <laughs> they had a bunch. Of chicks, yo! Look, look at them. Look at them. So, what did we get? Four leghorns. We ended up getting four leghorns. They had Cornish hens or Cornish, whatever they are. Um, but they were straight run, so we don't want no more roosters. That's for sure. So, and the chickens that I got from Eggwell Farms, the five I got, three of them me, me, me. Actually, for sure are roosters. Chickies. Not positive, obviously, but they pretty got, sure they're, three of them are roosters. Because three of them definitely look different mommy. than the other two, don't they? got they? red and they got little things on their side. Mommy, yeah, they're mommy. getting their little... Will you let her hold the chicken very softly? Those yeah. ones are very fragile. Do you want to hold it, Mom? It feels super good. Give me one. It's the lightest chicken. Oh my gosh, you guys. I came out of the box and my husband's like, quail? <laughs> sweet. Hi, sweet baby. You see them? Are they your tails? Mommy. They kind of got a little bit of Okay, you can hold the really small? Yeah. Oh, wow. Your cheekies were this small. They were? Yeah. Oh, I don't even know. I can't even mm. remember that. Hi, sweet baby. Mm. Yeah. Y'all, I'm going to end up like 50 chickens mm. at my house. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey guys, we're home. I've been setting up the new cheekies. Oh, they were really, really cold. So put the big heat lamp on them because I mean that big heat lamp was good for this size tote but we got them here I'll just show you we got them in a smaller size tote and I and I put their um yeah there's only four of them and I put their heat one of the 150 heat bulbs in there are you playing with Odie hey I put guys on for you you can watch guys Otis Otis just went outside, but I don't think he went to the bathroom. But he went pee -pee. so here's our new <laughs> brooder box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get yeah, they're getting warm now. They're getting a little active. Before they were all huddled up and they weren't moving, and their bodies just felt cold. Touch them strong, feel they still feel cold or not? Oh, don't bump the thing because mama just got it hooked up. They're warming up. They're warming up. Okay. Okay, Jen, come on. Let's let chickies get warm. I just got it set up where it won't fall off the box. 
I got it hooked underneath this lip right here. Oh. That way it don't slip. Uh-uh-uh. Okay, okay, come on. And, well, first I had their, um, this, it's still warm, this heat ball in there. This is the one, this is the, I believe. Yeah. No. The 150, the one they got in there is this big one right here, which is 250. So, I think I'm just gonna leave that in there just right now because they are so little and they were cold. So, we're gonna let them heat up a bit and then we'll switch back up because they don't need that big of a light in there or for that size box. Um, let me close this door. I've been dealing with my chickens and I haven't been able to. Uh, unpack my groceries and stuff. I'll show you guys what I picked up. So, Journey, your guys is on. <coughs> okay. It's got water in it because I had my ice. And lucky, luckily I bought ice because I picked up uh, booze vaccinations. So, so I bought this. As you know, we used that other one over there. I wish I would have found that one, but this one came from Walmart. We are going to try to figure out how to put some kind of maybe drill a hole here and drill a hole here and put something on there so that way no animals can get into it. I mean, it'd be pretty tough for them to get into it as is, but you never know. And this is going to hold Otis's dog food. I just need to get all the water out of it. I'm gonna let it dry. I had ice and um, our ice maker stopped working back when we had our troubles with our oh, our troubles with our refrigerator. So we've been buying ice and I can't live without ice, especially for sweet tea. I can't live without ice. So I picked up a bag of ice and then we stopped at a tractor supply to get booze meds and they have to be refrigerated. They can't be out of the um, refrigeration for more than 30 minutes. So luckily I brought ice, or bought ice. So anyway, I did pick up a six pack of Pepsis. Let's see what else. Okay, so we had to go. Oh, just what are you eating? My husband was looking for something particular at Big Lots which they didn't have. And I wanted to look at their dining room tables because this is where this dining room table came from. And at the time, I really liked the style because it's like higher, it's like a bar, um, bar length table, bar height, I don't know how you, with the tall chairs, and I really like that. Well, now that we got Journey, I don't like this. Um, and I want more of a regular table and chairs with like six chairs instead of four because we um uh, 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 because oh my goodness makeup papa and uncle brian eat with us like quite a lot probably like three three or four times a week and then like for easter and thanksgiving when we have nathan and i was gonna say nathan and evan nathan and cora and evan and everybody here there's just not enough places. So we bring up the school table and that's what we usually do is set up the school table. So I wanna get a table, a bigger table. It has like six chairs and possibly a leaf. It don't have to have a leaf, but a leaf would be good just for instances like that. Otis, what are you doing? Otis, you better not pee on my floor, biting his tail. Um, so anyway, that's why, well, I wanted to go to Big Lots. That's why I wanted to go in there, but he was looking for something that they didn't have. Um, so I'll just show you guys what I got at Big Lots real quick. So I bought me another, um, I always need bowls, and I need mixing bowls. And I prefer either glass or stainless steel. 
Um, my husband likes plastic. I don't like plastic ones. No, nope. give me glass. Give me glass or give me stainless steel. So this thing was just five bucks. So I bought this. Um, so you can microwave an oven, freezer, dishwash safe, all that stuff. So it's good. And I do got these over top of my band-aids because I didn't want to get my band-aids wet. Oh, okay. I'll save that for last. <laughs> um, I threw away my muffin tin the other day because it was getting pretty rusty and old looking. So I was down to one. And I always like to have two. So we got a brand new one. And when I went to Walmart, they were completely sold out of muffin tins and a lot of baking stuff there. So I've been keeping my eye out and then so this place they had some they didn't have a lot but they had some So I got me a new muffin tin And that's from roses. Okay, so this is the other thing I got from big lots. Are you guys ready? Y'all know how I went to The Dollar Tree a bit ago and ended up with this napkin holder Otis You're going to hear that name a lot around here. <laughs> oh my goodness. This thing is heavy as lead. It is metal. And I, this is on, if you look on Amazon right now, you can find this one. It's cast iron. Same thing. Looks exactly the same. But I think it's like, where's my phone? Okay, there it is, guys. <laughs> it's $11.99. So... I actually had this in my cart like a few days ago before I found this one. So, yeah, so I got it for $7 and I have it now and I don't have to wait for it. And it's heavy. And it's chickens. But now we have two napkin holders because we'll have, you know, before uh, we always had. The school table and then this table, so. Yes, I'm so fancy with my napkin. And it's red, but, and, oh, so, so. So, like, oh, my hair. <laughs> oh, my God, oh, my goodness. So, not purposely, a lot of things in my kitchen are red. It started off with, I think we ended up, like, getting... Keurig? Was it the Keurig that was red? No, because I got the Keurig red because it matched some. Didn't we have like one of those dish racks? Oh, the pots and pans. Oh. My first set of pots and pans was red. And then um, I ended up getting my cutting board, which had red on it. And so when I ordered the Keurig for my husband, I got it in red just because we already had a lot of red. And then we had a dish strainer that was red. And then... Oh, dish. So a lot of things in my kitchen are red. And I kind of like it because it kind of goes with this blue. Which, if you notice that the... What's that called? Pioneer Woman? Has a lot of red and that color blue in it, so... You keep going over to the cat later. He's like, I'm just looking for a snack. No! That's gross. <laughs> so, anyway. Yeah, so... That's my story on my chicken napkin holder. I know you all were dying to know about that. Um, so then right next door to Big Lots is uh, Maxway, which is roses, kind of like roses. And that's where I was going to go buy... You're in the muffin tin. Um, so that's where I went to, or to get my bin for the dog food, but I wanted to get one that matched the other one because we got that one from roses. But it was a different um, roses. But this place didn't have it. But I did find this cute little outfit for Journey. Journey needs more clothes, mainly because she ruins everything that she has. She's she's full on country girl, and she don't care. So of course it has a mini, and it's so cute, and it's got little shorts. And this is size two T. It looks a little big, but I'm sure it'll fit her. And then. At Roses. Thank you, Mom. We walked in and all their dresses were 50% off. And Shirley needs more dresses, but um, she can't wear kids' sizes. Otis. 
um, cause they're not long enough. So we got her this one. It's an adult size small and it was $9.99. So it's five bucks. Here, Sterling, put it over your shirt and just try it on. So I found this chicken rug to go by our sink. Um, I wanted to get a rug for the back door and so we went down and I found this one and it had chickens on it and I had to get it. So the rug we had here I put by our back door. So I put that there and then I want to replace the one I have out here because this one came from our front door and it says Merry Christmas. God bless you. Thank you. So we found this rug there and it was just $7.99. So this one is going to go on the back porch. Um, cause that's the one we track in a lot of dirt from, from outside. So that's going to go there. Uh, we ended up picking up two of these, which is shedding all over the floor, um, to put inside of the chicken coop. I'm actually going to move these outside. So Sterling got one too. These rugs were just a dollar. Yep, um, it's going to be Cooper's bed. And I guess I'll just, you know what, I'm going to put it over here so the dog don't pee on them. But they're going to go inside of the nesting boxes. And we got the idea from over at um, the place where we got Otis from. They um, used little carpet squares. They use little carpet squares in the nesting boxes and then when they get dirty or messy he says he just takes them out and um, pressure washes them and that's how he does but i think i'm gonna put them down and then just put a little bit of hay around them and that way you know when they lay their eggs it don't I see something up there um it just you know has something soft to lay on it's not just hard hard let me here, I'll put my boots on. She's in there watching TV. But I will show you guys so far what we got with the coop. And then I'll take you back inside and show you the rest of the stuff I picked up. But here is my coop. They got the bottom of this. He was just lacking just a little bit to finish this side. So this is going to be, <clears throat> right now, this is going to be, just extra area for them to walk in, get in the shade, whatever they have to do. But eventually, what we want is to make a little section here. I'll go in here um, that we can use um, for new chickies. So, like um, when you introduce, when you have baby chicks and you introduce your new chickens to your older chickens, you got to kind of do it gradually. So. Um, this is so they can get used to each other because they have a pecking order and I don't know how much is I'm telling you it's true because I watch a lot of videos but this is what I found out in the videos and if you ask Papa Papa's like no you don't have to do that but Papa's had chickens before I don't know you know there's like probably old farmer ways and then there's like people who have a lot of chickens and know it all kind of ways I don't know I never had um, chickens on my own but this is our hen house and over there is the nesting boxes. There's gonna be three of them for now. We'll go over here and open it. Gotta watch where I'm stepping. The girls had Journey, Alyssa and Sterling had fun painting and they painted everywhere. But we just did that to help protect the wood. Um, so this side right here is where the nesting boxes are gonna be. Um, we're gonna put three dividers in here we're gonna put three dividers in here and then the carpet will go down and then I'm going to put some hay to make it more cozy for them. And then on that side of the chicken coop, there's going to be some kind of uh, some kind of a window or something that's going to be put over there. That's gonna be kind of like this one right here. And I'll sh I don't know, if can I show you? No, I can't show you. This piece of wood is just put on here for right now, but there is chicken wire here. So that way, like in the summertime or whatever, cause it gets really hot, um, we can take that off and they can have extra ventilation, but still be safe. 
and on that side we want to put the chicken a chicken window or something over there so that way in this um, winter time because most of the Sun is coming from that direction uh, there they will have extra warmth from the Sun and so these are just here and this um, is probably where their little um, walkway walker they're gonna be able to go up the ramp and then at night we're just gonna lock them in um, this piece of big piece of wood isn't gonna be here I don't know if it's actually secure oh yeah he did just put it there so I don't really know what he's gonna do there but then we're gonna have like um, locks on these so nothing even if something got through the wire fence because you know you never know possums or whatever they're gonna be up in here and with locked in so they're gonna have extra protection this is gonna go over top so no nothing will come and get them so yeah they got a lot this is a big coop guys so this is why I got four more chickens today <laughs> It's pretty big. Welcome to Pam's hen house. Oh, by the way, I never did talk about that. Journey's inside watching TV. She's alright. Um, I don't know what Dad's gonna do. He's not gonna leave it like that right now. He's gotta trim it up, or I have no idea. I don't know if he's gonna put hinges on it and make it so we can lift it up. A lot of air. I don't know. I don't know. So, oh, and then right here. His plan is to make a little chicken door that the chickens can walk out and oh. go into their chicken tractor. That's so cute. <laughs> they just strut their stuff out the door. Yeah, they can strut their self stuff out the chicken door. So here's our coop. This is the, um, he hasn't put the thing in, but this is where the, the window I was telling you was going to go right here. And then he's going to have chains in a thing where it will hold it up so that way in the winter you know they can get warmth that way and have extra ventilation I started a group on Facebook and I've actually thought about starting a group like plenty 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 times before but um I didn't want my group to be just about embroidery although you know a lot of people watch me for embroidery but I wanted it to be like, like, kind of like a, everything goes. You know what I mean? Embroidery, sewing, chickens, Not rabbits, here. cows, pigs. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, dinner ideas, recipes, anything. You know what I mean? So I went ahead and I started that. So if you look up, I called it Pam, Pam's Hen House because I thought it was funny. I thought was funny so if you go on Facebook if you're friends with me on Facebook I think you can look at my groups I don't know so this is the rest of the stuff we picked up um, did I put what on your chair toys yeah don't put your passy up your nose what are you doing silly goose um, so the girls absolutely love this bubble fruit and they had it at this Walmart so we picked up the peach strawberry lemonade. This is their favorite. Pearberry with pomegranate is their favorite. So we got those. Um, I didn't pick none up last week because I forgot. Well, actually, I didn't forget. They just didn't have it. And they always, I always buy them the 100% apple juice Capri Suns. Um, <laughs> she's watching a Hotel Transylvania. But, um, they usually use this like for lunches or if they go outside and stuff and want a quick drink. Our Walmart has been out of these ramen noodles forever. Forever, you guys. And Journey likes to eat these as lunch and so does Sterling. So we finally found a pack of those. Picked up a can of tomato soup. I'm going to use it as a base to make soup one night. But I didn't realize I got healthy requests. I don't really like the healthy requests, but it's alright. I mean... And then puppy needed a flea collar and so until we can get him um, some kind of 
flea protection. We're going to put this on him for now. I hope it's okay. I didn't read the reviews or anything. I just went with one that said puppy for dogs and puppies. And we needed more sugar for sweet tea. And this is one of Journey's favorites. So we picked up more of that. She likes to eat that for lunch. Sometimes we make it as a side dish for dinner. And Boo don't know what to think with all these animals in this house. And you're going to get a kitten. She's used to be in Queen Bee. Uh, we also... Oh, I found these, you guys. I've been hunting these. Have a nice store these salt and pepper shakers with these little chickens on it. You guys know I bought the ones the other day at the Dollar General, which are now my window decor. But um, these match that. Let's see. And then, like I mentioned, Journey's been ruining all her clothes, being outside, getting all messy, paint, dirty, nasty. So... Every shirt I wanted to get for her was like not in her size. This is the only 2T and it says I know my colors. Which she don't know her colors, but Boo! That's my brand new rug. But y'all know I love rainbows, so we got that. I just got a plain purple shirt. I'm sure it'll get messed up and dirty. And then we got her a pair of shorts. That she can wear with her I love colors and then we got her some leggings that she can wear with um, both shirts the purple one and the I love colors so ew and and look guys a chicken towel this is at roses for a dollar oh and then in the craft section at Walmart they had all these for 49 cents so our plan is to paint them and Strolly's going to use it and she's going to decorate Cooper, Cooper's new hutch with that. This I'm going to use on the chicken coop. And I'm going to paint over this Easter hunt and hop this way. And I'm going to put fresh eggs. And I'm going to make this arrow like that. Maybe I'll do fresh and write eggs here. Yeah, that would be cute. And then I'm just going to color these like brown and yellow. Brown and white and blue, maybe, because, you know, chicken egg colors. Oh, and then we got this, and she's going to put this on Cooper's cage, too, which she's just going to color over all this, make it white, with, like a, red. with a pink eye and pink in his ear. And then we got this, and we might do, we might just do this, because we got, like, three packs of carrots. We're going to try to get a nice carrot patch going. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Janera, look what I got. I got a raspberry. So, I was completely out. Had to get more, so I got more. And when I went to get this one, I found this one. I'm like, oh snap, let's try it. I'm going to try it now. So this was supper. We had some. What do you call this? Vegetable beef soup and some corn bread. Was it good? Yeah. Was it delicious? Was it the most tastiest thing you ate today? Uh, mm, Big Mac was pretty tasty, but. I know it wasn't made just for me. It was made for somebody. And, and here you were, cooked me a home cooked meal. Just for you. Just for me. Oh no, we don't want to poop it on my floor. So we got our nursery over here. <laughs> you turn around. I don't want you pooping on my floor. You're gonna get hot. You can get a hot, hot pecker. My mm, oh, they're so cute. Yeah. Mm. Such a big difference. Look at that girl. Compared oh, to she's that. probably gonna poop in there on them. Don't you dare poop on them. You're me, me, me. Me, me, me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm. So this is our setup until the coop is done. Yes. Um, you guys like to get out. Well, no. Well, 
but we no longer have the heat lamp on them because they're over five weeks old. So. It's time to move it. What? It's time to We're not going to move it. We're going to leave these guys in here, okay? Hey, guys. My makeup was all the way down on my chin earlier. <laughs> I'm downstairs. I'm getting ready to do some work. 7.45. I gotta see how many orders I can get done and I have to be in bed at a reasonable time because Journey has her dental surgery in the morning and yep I'm really worried I know it's in God's hands I know I just have to give it to God and that's you know what I've been trying to do um, but still you know it's like that fear the only, the, the thing I'm afraid of, the thing I'm afraid of is like, because she is such a small girl and she has like unknown allergies. That's what worries me. Um, cause she randomly breaks out in hives and we still, we don't, you know, she never went to go get tested or anything. It's just, you know. Oh, she's an allergic reaction to something. Okay, well, let's find out. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, so she just walked down here. I'm going to work. I just cut a ribbon trim. I have more ribbon trims to cut, but I actually, I actually don't have that many um, this week. I think there was like three or four other ones I was supposed to cut, cook, cut. Um, and I brought me a way down and it's it's actually quite hilarious because um nobody everybody who is you know tasted this like my husband well i can only say everybody i'll say sterling like the first time i got this she tasted it she was like Ew, it's gross so Earlier she said her tummy was hurting and I was like, well, take a few drinks of, you know, the sparkling water. So she did. And a little while later she's like, can I have some more of that stuff? I was like, I thought you didn't like it. She's like, I don't, but I like something about it. So, um, anyway, if you don't like sparkling water, then, you know, this is not the one for you. But if you do, then it is good. It's like, it gives you that fizziness with the little aftertaste. And I just remember it because I did inventory. I haven't done inventory in a while. And so this is what I did. Um, I just write down the size. I write down uh, tally marks for each order. And then I write down how many shirts I have on the other side. So that way I know. And then um, I wrote a little note of sizes I want to order from Angela. <laughs> so... But I have a box upstairs, and Sterling says from Kids Custom Design, so it's from Angela. And uh, yeah, I need to contact her. Angela. Angela. Mm. Angela. 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 It says on a late trip. This is what I got. You guys ready? I needed yellow and aqua ribbon. And I needed like some shirts. So she said, get some shirts. Now, I missed. There's cheese on my floor. Why is there cheese on my floor? Y'all, I am so strict, not strict, but I am so, like, I hate to have food down here. Um, for one, it's a basement, and you don't know what kind of critters might come in. And number two, I don't want any ants or anything like that. So, I don't, like, if the girls bring something down, I like, get that back upstairs. Um, I will bring, like, little snacks down here for myself, but shh, don't tell anybody, because that's me, and... I know enough to take care of my trash and like I have the sparkling water down here and when I'm done tonight the sparkling water is going to go back upstairs. Oh, the can is. So I don't like to leave anything like that. But anyway, I need to get work in.
Hey guys, so it is almost midnight and I should be in bed. Um, I don't know. Did I talk about it earlier? I probably did. Yeah, I did. Journey has surgery in the morning at 7.45, so we gotta get up really early. She can't any eat anything past 1.30, which um, she likes to have a protein shake. Oh, not a protein shake. We call it that. You guys, it's not a protein shake. It's Pediasure, but... It's just what we got hooked on calling it, so that's what we call it. So if we ever say protein shake, we're not giving Journey protein shakes. It's actually Pediasure. But anyway, um, so I told my husband, I was like, I will come up. When I come up, I'll make her one, and that way she can have that before she, you know, goes back to sleep because she won't be able to eat anything in the morning. I think she can have all the clear liquids she wants up until, they said, three hours before. But anyway, it's just going to be tough. It's going to be tough. And this mama is worried, so I will update on Facebook. So if you're not following me on Facebook or friends with me on Facebook, it's Sterling's, Sterling, S-T-E-R-L-I-N-G, and Style, S Styles. I think there's an S on it. It's opposite than my YouTube. My YouTube is Sterling's, like my daughter and my husband, like their style, Sterling's style, but it was supposed to be about Sterling. Um, way back when it was supposed to be about her clothes and stuff, but obviously my channel's not about that, but anyway, um, so yeah, by the time you're watching this, you know, you, you know, her surgery is over with and all that stuff, but at this point in time, yeah, I'm worried. I don't know if I'll sleep tonight, uh, but anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. Give this video a like. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.